my second try. I couldn't see and it cut off my head. So I'm going to show you a really demonst a simple demonstration. This is one of my favorites uh, because it's so simple and it's so cool. Uh, you don't really need anything special. Uh, here I have a yard stick. It's not a meter stick. But any, any stick uh, will work. It would be nice if it's flat. Uh, so let me go ahead and, uh, and do the demo. I'm going to do it three times. So first I'm going to start with my hands right here and, and hold it up. And I'm going to slide my hands in, push them both in towards each other. And the question is where are they going to meet and which one's going to get there first. And I put a little mark here, that's right at the center. They met at the center. Okay. Um, now I'm going to start with them not at the same spot. I'm going to start with one close to the center and I'm going to do it again. They still met at the center. Okay, now here I have some rock that that was found in my backyard. I, I thought it was a meteorite, but I'm not. I don't think so anymore. But but it is rock, and we did find it in Louisiana. And that in of itself makes it pretty cool. Okay, so I'm gonna put that in now. The center mass for the meter, the yardstick plus the rock is not in the center, and I, I'll just do it again, starting from here. I'm gonna move in. Okay, so now they met at the new center of mass, which is not the middle of the stick, but it still met at the center of mass. So, in this little demo, it doesn't matter what the center of the mass of this thing is, it doesn't matter what the, unit, the density uh, distribution is, when you slide your hands, they meet together at the center of mass. I'm not going to explain this right now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write up the explanation for this on my website, .fiz.net, so if you want to look at it, you can see it there. Meter stick, dark stick.